welcome to everyone. It's a very special evening for the American University in Cairo in New York uh, tonight. We have very um, distinguished uh, members of our leadership at the university and very distinguished guests that are, that are here. This is what AUC does best. It brings together people from across the world, east and west. It's, it's really what uh, defines us as Egypt's global university. Um, we have uh, with us uh, trustees, we have the cabinet, we have our, our academic leader, our provost, and all people that you will get a chance to meet. We're especially pleased, though, because one of our very distinguished alumni has brought us all together um, uh, around a very common purpose and, and vision uh, that we share. Uh, Dr. Uh, Omema is herself a distinguished uh, businesswoman, academic, published author on how entrepreneurship works, innovation works in Egypt, um, has companies that she's advised and consulted with across the world, many, many countries, of course, in Egypt, in the Gulf, in the United States, in Scandinavia, and, uh, and lectures at uh, Edinburgh. We're always glad to have partners at other institutions of higher education around the world. Um, as, a, as an AUC alumna, she does what AUC alumna does best, and that is catalyze, bring, bring people together, spots, opportunities, and deals, and as a matchmaker. And, and that's really why we're here together. Um, Dr. Omeyama recognized that our School of Business is one of the top 1% in the world that has triple crown accreditation, international uh, recognition as being among the best. And she knew from her business associations with uh, Lukman Wise, <clears throat> who are leaders and visionaries in fintech, that there was something we could do together there. Um, with the help of Lukman Wise and uh, uh, Dr. Yamazaki and Dr. Khatar, we will now be able to take some things we are already doing at our business school, where we have an emphasis on entrepreneurship and innovation, um, and particularly um, in the fintech area, we will now be able to put a greater emphasis on fintech and establish really the first um, concentration in, in uh, degree studies in the region, in, in, in Egypt, in fintech, thanks to you and the, uh, the vision that you have to expand your industry and grow it in Egypt and through Egypt uh, to the entire region. Uh, so Dr. Yamazaki, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to uh, support AUC in this endeavor, which we hope will also help you in growing your industry and, and your own business. And uh, Dr. Khatar is an Egyptian. I'm sure you are also one of those who helped recognize the potential of the young minds that we've got in that most populous country, and I would say one of the most dynamic countries of the region. So the, the roles that the three of you have played in, in uh, bringing us together and using AUC as the focal point, I think is part of what um, makes us most proud to, to be AUC. We look forward very much to uh, welcoming you both to our, our campus with uh, uh, Dr. Omeyma at, at the earliest opportunity. And we thank you for um, traveling across the world to join us here this evening to commemorate the, uh, the start of this partnership through the, the memorandum that we'll sign together in just a few minutes. I'll let uh, Dr. Omeyma introduce our two distinguished guests uh, more thoroughly. Thank sure. you. Thank you, Frank. <clears throat> well, both uh, Dr. Miki Yamazaki and Dr. Mohamed Khatar are men with a, a mission to change the way the banking system works. Both have a deep understanding and fascination of, uh, um, with what machine learning and big data can contribute to the banking system. Together, they are working on building the next generation, uh, trading platforms that they believe that everyone who is interested in contributing to this fintech revolution should be given the skills and opportunity to do so. Through fully sponsoring this MSc in FinTech at the American University in Cairo, their company, Lukman Vive Capital, is hoping to enable young Egyptian entrepreneurs to learn the skills they need in order to contribute to the FinTech domain. If I may, I need to introduce uh, separately both Dr. Yamazaki and Dr. Khata. They're both, um, uh, well, uh, young, up and coming, they're both actually my children's age. <laughs> both actually, and I got, I got to know Mohammed before Mickey, and Mohammed is also a graduate of Cambridge University. He has his PhD from Cambridge, like my son who went to Cambridge University as well, and he has the name Mohammed as well. And actually, Mohammed was, uh, they were thinking of taking that program to India, 
which I'm very happy they decided to bring it to Egypt. And the funny thing is, Mickey never been to Egypt before, so he's contributing that um, uh, very handsome uh, contribution without being even uh, visited Egypt. But we, I'm sure, will be able to welcome Mickey and make him very welcome in Egypt. Uh, Dr. Miki Yamazaki studied at Imperial College London, following which he worked for one of the leading global consultancy firms for two years. <coughs> his time as a consultant helped him realize his passion for the financial sector, and he went on to establish and manage a number of funds globally. Currently, Dr. Yamazaki is the director of Lukman Vice, uh, Lukman Vice Capital and head of its private equity division. He also leads research in fintech and um, artificial intelligence driven private equity at Infinity Labs, where he is looking into creating advanced decision support systems for private equity investments. He has a strong passion for artificial intelligence applications in finance is an, and is an avid snowboarder. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hamad Khatr, who is his partner in Lukman Weiss, um, studied at the University of Cambridge, and his um, career spans many sectors, including intergovernmental organizations, biotechnology, systems engineering, and private wealth management. He developed some of the earliest applications of artificial intelligence to securities trading, and is passionate about FinTech and its role in advancing banking and investment. He continues to lead research into capabilities-based investment and uh, digitalization at his research center at Cambridge University. Dr. Khater is the director of Lukman Vice Capital and its chief investment advisor. He's the one signing your checks. <laughs> so we have to be very uh, welcoming of Dr. Carter. <laughs> so with, um, without any further delay, I think we all have to welcome both Dr. Yamazaki and Dr. Carter. And please welcome your signature of your nice contribution. Thank you very much. Mickey and Mohammed, would you like to say something? Um, thank you very much for your uh, kind introduction. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to formally thank um, Dr. Amayo and the President of the AUC um, to give us the opportunity to use AUC as a platform to drive fintech de development in the region. Um, the company and myself see a great potential in Egypt um, and its youth. Their willpower is de demonstrated in 2011 where they stood up to change the country for the, for the better. And we would like to think that we're not your typical donors. Um, we are relatively young, um, and we are very much inexperienced in life. Um, and our checks are definitely not the largest. Um, but we, we pride in our hands-on approach to uh, this donation. Um, and we would like to um, give opportunities to the Egyptian uh, youth um, so that they can basically have enough education and the training to go through with the fintech revolution that the world is currently undergoing. And uh, I would also hope that this relationship um, would strengthen um, the relation that we have with Japan, um, and it would entice any economic development between both countries. Um, and I'd like to also take this opportunity to thank uh, Dr. Keita for facilitating this as well. Um, Without you, um, nothing, none of this would have happened. So thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and I look forward to interacting with the students uh, uh, in Egypt when I finally do go to Egypt um, throughout their educational career and their professional career as well. So thank you very much for the opportunity once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's not much I can really add uh, <laughs> to that, but um, first thing I want to thank you for, for arranging this and making it happen. Mr. President, thank you very much for this as well. Um, I spent most of my career uh, in, in the banking sector, programming computers to think like human beings. Uh, it helped me a lot. Uh, it gave me a career. It gave me a, a, a wonderful paycheck. Uh, and I hope that this is something that I can reciprocate to uh, to youth in my country. I've got a strong belief in, in Egyptians. Uh, I've, I'm one, so it's not strange that I'd have that strong conviction in, in youth in my country. Um, I think fintech is, is going to change the way finance works. I think the way we trade, the way we handle money, the way we handle transactions is going to change in the, f in the future incredibly. 
uh, and, and gearing up youth in Egypt to, to understand this and to become leaders in that area is, is an incredibly important thing. Um, I, and I'm very thankful that we've been given the opportunity to, to engage with the American University in Cairo to do this. Uh, um, the, the, the process was, was an incredibly um, interesting one. We, we built the curriculum together, we looked at things together, we, and, it, and it was really it was educated for us in every way, and I look forward to engaging with the students and, and doing more. Um, last, I would like to thank Miki Yamazaki, Dr. Yamazaki for this, my, my counterpart, my Japanese counterpart. Um, his father was my mentor. Um, I worked with his father for many years. Um, he gave me an opportunity to build my career in, in Tokyo, which is quite rare for an Egyptian to do. Um, and I think that his, his family has a great love and passion f for my country. And I'm very thankful that he's, he's taken a, a gamble on our youth and a gamble on <laughs> our relationship. And I hope it pays off. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Uh, so, so thank you all for having us here and, and uh, allowing us to do this. And we're very thankful. Yeah. Is this the magic moment when we yes, sign? Yes, I think all so. Right. Yes. <laughs> you better do it now. <laughs> yeah. I sign it with this pen. Yeah, this sure. is a very memorable pen for yeah. both of us. Ah, okay. We sign every important. Okay. He's doing it, making it. So most, most of the things that we've signed in the company from the day we started have been done with that pen. Oh, wow. So, uh, That's exciting. Yeah. It's a very auspicious pen. So hopefully that uh, <laughs> agreement will be as successful as your company. <laughs> so. yeah, well, how it is in Japan, the color blue around the Mediterranean is a particularly lucky color. It <laughs> keeps away the evil eye. <laughs> Okay, the deed is done and we'll be changing lives among the young Egyptians and hopefully the, the industry as well. Inshallah. 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 Inshallah.